Hey guys, if your Xbox stuck on that black screen and if you press this, you might get this, but that's all you guys can do. And you might get the sight thing coming up, but that's it. Nothing's moving, nothing's happening. Well, we're gonna have to reset this thing. So let me just show you. So on your Xbox, this button right here, just press, hold on to it for 10 seconds. Now you will have to do this a few times if it doesn't work right away. So if it doesn't work right away, it doesn't reset properly, do it three, four times, and then you guys should be good to go. So right after it turns off, you just press this to turn it back on. Okay, and if it doesn't work right away, it's okay. Just wait for it, and now it's supposed to work. Okay, so you guys will see the normal screen, everything's working just fine. However guys, if this loads up and you guys are still getting the black screen right after this, so this is pretty obvious, but a lot of people don't do it for some reason. Just disconnect your Xbox from electricity, okay? Alright guys, so I'm turning on my Xbox again. Something I forgot to mention, depending on what problems you guys have, if you just get a black screen, that's all you guys get. Not really a menu, it turns on properly. Well, maybe it's your HDMI cable, just try a different port on your actual TV, okay? And then try another HDMI cable if maybe that's the problem. Also, if you guys have the gaming side, so just take it out for now, okay? Right now that you're powering it on and you have problems, just take out the disc and then start it back on. That might just do the trick. All right, guys, so if none of that stuff is working, the next thing is to hold right here your sync button plus your eject button. All right, so these two buttons right here. And then you guys are gonna turn it on. Okay, and I'm gonna show you what's next. Okay, on your screen, you guys will see this and you guys will see reset this Xbox. It's gonna restore to factory defaults and that's what's gonna fix the problem. So we're just gonna select that, press A on it. Now we can keep games and apps or move everything. If you guys are having extreme problems with this, I would choose the second option, which is remove everything. But if it's not too bad, <laughs> or if you guys wanna try this one first, keep games and apps, go ahead. And that's what we're gonna do this time. And if it still doesn't work, then we're gonna remove everything, okay? Which sucks, yes but we want to keep our games for sure, right? When we are doing this, just make sure there's no CDs inside. It's gonna show you that. Uh, well, it depends on your screen. Some screens don't have this blue background, but it might be green, might be black, who knows? Depends on your screen, okay? So right now it's doing the whole thing, and hopefully after this, it works just fine. All right guys, since we're resetting it, obviously we're gonna have to do this again. So let's just turn this on. Press A and so on, just follow through exactly what you guys see on the screen. So after it starts up, you guys are supposed to see this. If you guys see a black screen again, don't worry about it. Just turn off your Xbox, so just shut it down and then turn it back on. Once you guys turn it back on, you guys will see this. That's what happened in my case. So I'm just gonna sign in and do everything that I do. It kind of sucks that you do have to sign back in and all that stuff, but at least the games are still there, right? All right, guys, so after you do the whole setup, this is what's going to happen. Now, there could be other problems online as well. You can't sign in or something like that. Don't worry, just check out online if the actual Xbox Live is working at the moment. And that's it. Hopefully, this takes care of your problem. That's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you. Oh.